on the red carpet next to the ever so beautiful Pat Harvey. How are you? Oh, you're so sweet. I'm very well tonight. <laughs> I'm admiring your fashion sense. What are we wearing? This is Leela Rose. I love it. And the shoes, the sparkly shoes. The Jimmy Choo's. Hi, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not as hot as you, though. Oh, girl. In a long time, right, you've been winning? Well, yeah, I don't like to brag, but I do have 21 Emmys, but I'm nominated for the Governor's Award tonight, so I'm going to be receiving that, and that's like lifetime achievement, and that's just so special, and I feel so honored and privileged. Well, what's your favorite story that you've worked on, or what, what was the most inspirational story that came along? You know, it had to be when I covered um, the end of apartheid in South Africa. I met a gentleman, I'm calling him a gentleman, it was one of the tribesmen from the mountains. Wow who came down to vote and he had his little grass skirt on and his headdress and through my interpreter I asked how it felt to vote for the first time and he said feel my heart, heart is my, how does my heart feel and I said no he said feel my skin and I said feels warm he said that's how my heart feels I was done and then I ran into Nelson Mandela in the elevator ah! so I just th saw just a fortitude from people that had never been experienced before. You know, that's uh, for all of us, I think, too. We're born with so many freedoms, and obviously we weren't around back when we couldn't vote. So for that to be the first time, it was just unbelievable. It was awe, you know, very inspirational and awe-inspiring, that's for sure. And who, who inspires you? Do you have a certain person that you would call a hero? Well, my parents, they are not with me anymore, but um, they inspired me from the very beginning, and I can feel that... Um, I can feel their wind at my back. So I would still say that they are at forefront for me. And if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? You know, maybe law, yeah. because I, I had- I heard you might be a politician. Well, you know what, yeah. You probably heard one of my producer who I love, 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 love. She's been trying to get me to run forever. I don't know about that. My, my husband says, you're too soft hearted and you couldn't fire anybody. <laughs> So I don't know. You have to that. have an iron fist. But I do like to make a difference. <laughs> yes. I do like to make a difference, and I try to in my reporting. Yes. <laughs> She's a great influencer. Is there any shout outs that you'd like to give us tonight? Oh, I want to shout out to everybody, to the viewers of Los Angeles, to the viewers Sensor TV. Uh, Sensor TV. <laughs> and to all the nominees tonight as well. I wish them uh, the best of luck. And, you know, just keep telling those good stories. Do you have. Can't, can't get enough of them. Right. Do you have any secret hobbies? Well, I do like to play golf okay. or play at golf. Uh, you might catch me singing in the shower. Which a song? Which a tune? Oh my goodness! Well, you know what I really like? I, I'm, I'm from Motown. Okay. So I, I love "Ain't No Mountain High Enough." Uh -huh. I know that's way back. Okay, but um, it's all good. Next time I hear that, I'm gonna think of you, Pat Harvey. Would you do that? I will. I'm happy about that. I'm serious. I She's an influencer. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was so, so lovely to meet you. Thank, Thank you for, for watching Sinster TV. TV.